Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you how I'm going to conduct uh, my virtual class these uh, data learning days and uh, give you maybe some hints that you could use yourself. So um, I just went into my courses, here's my block three. And one of the first things I am doing is putting my virtual office hours at the top. And what I've done is I've linked a Google Doc to there and I've written some instructions on that Google Docs. So let me just click it for you and you can see what I've written. Just some reminders uh, that Alicia actually uh, reminded us during that student presentation. Please remember these days are not free days. The assignments placed in this daily folder are designed to be completed easily within an hour. So I just wanted to talk about that for a second. These virtual learning days are not really full-on days. Don't expect to like conduct a full 100% class. I'm, sh I'm shooting for about a 75% class where uh, realizing that there's no discussion, no lecture, no you know immediacy to see the contact, eye contact with the kids to see how they're doing. So try to keep it as simple as you can yet still move the class along. And that's really all we can hope for during these online periods, okay? So I am basically not utilizing the full 75 minutes. I am designing my assignments to be completed within easily within an hour. Um, and then I said I will be online in my Schoology courses during these time periods that you see below. Um, I'm, I'll probably go ahead and amend these as time goes on, but for right now, just for just an hour in the morning between 9 and 10, and I will be signed into my classes so students can actually message me on this app here where you can, if you just click on it, you'll see that it will send you, give you a, uh, a thread with each of the students that you might have in your class. Oops, don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. Uh, I told my students not to email me, and the reason I did that is because uh, emails can get cluttered with other things, you know, that are not school-related, uh, spam, false advertising, those types of things. So, but the message app at the upper right-hand corner is actually a great way to keep track of just what's going on in school, okay? And that's what I said here. Use my Schoology Messenger app, upper right-hand corner, during these days if you have any questions. And that's when I intend to do a lot of um, individual tutoring. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not available at other times. And I told my students that before they left. Uh, so let's go back. Let me just click here fast. Now you'll notice that the way I've structured my class, a full-on day might have one, two, three, four things to do, maybe three things to do, four things to do here. What I started doing recently for these virtual days is really only having like two things. So, so for example, I'm going to go ahead and give an assignment, which you can see here, where I have scaffolded some information. I've connected two videos. So here's video one, takes it to my YouTube channel where I have, um, let me just wait till this is done here for just one second, where I give instruction and then the students can actually go ahead and write notes. And then what I've asked them to do is after you've uh, taken the notes, watch the videos, complete the problems in the video below, include the work and solution in your notes, and then submit online. So I'll just give them some minor points for doing that. So that's like part of the skill-based learning that we've talked about. And then the other thing I'm going to have them do is practice. So again, heading back up to my folder for March 2nd. You can see the other thing is I'm going to use iXL extensively here where they can actually get some interactive practice for their class. And again, iXL is a great tool if you don't have it, but there are you know, analogs for other classes as well. So uh, just to wrap up real quickly, I'm gonna create about a 75% day. Try to have the students message you consistently in one spot. If, if you choose email, that's up to you. But as I mentioned, I think that this particular messenger app might be the way to go. It keeps things, again, very clean. Uh, and then post your office hours. I'm going to do an asynchronous class, which means that I'm not going to be 
uh, online during that class period every day and I don't expect them to be either. So you give them the assignment, they have to turn things in. Um, one thing has to be turned in during the class period and then the next assignment, the second assignment, they have until the next class period to finish it. Okay. Good luck, and if you have any questions, please go ahead and uh, uh, contact me either through the support at shcp.edu. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep my emails as clean as possible, but if you really need to email me, please go ahead. Thank you.